Namibia. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to a special workout with Dimwango. Today we are at Wild Mustang Gym in Ongwediva. So let's have a look inside. First up, we start with a few stretches with Stefan, one of Wild Mustang's finest personal trainers. I personally start and end all my workouts with a full body stretch because stretching is very, very, very important. It reduces the risk of injury, it increases your range of motion, it improves your posture, it also reduces your muscular tension and enhances muscular relaxation and then it promotes blood circulation so stretching is very very important before your workout and after your workout session The first workout we have for today is single leg curls which is actually very very good for your hamstrings and how you perform it you need to keep your knee fixed tight against the chair and then curl upwards the cushion as Stefan is showing Dean Wango in this video. You do between 3 to 4 sets and 15 to 20 reps on each side. Leg press is actually one of my favorite exercises. With its varieties, a leg press can target different muscles, ranging from quads, hamstrings, hips, and even calves. We decided to have a little bit of fun and we put D Mwango to a mini leg press challenge. Comment down below if you think she passed this challenge or not. She definitely passed this challenge. Way to go, Dimwango. You did so good.
is mainly for the quadriceps, also known as quads. Depending on your variation of extension, you can work on the vastus lateralis, when your toes are pointing inwards, the vastus medialis, when your toes are pointing outwards, and the rectus femoris and vastus intermedius, when your toes are pointing upwards. Here, Dean Mwanga is working on the rectus femoris and the vastus intermedius of the quadriceps because her toes are pointed upwards and I think she's doing pretty good. Leg curls work singularly on the hamstrings. Depending on the variation, it targets the long and short head of the bicep femoris, the semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscles. It can be performed one leg at a time, lying on a flat bench and then placing a dumbbell between your feet and then curling on a standing leg curl machine or on a seated leg curl machine. Here, we are curling with both legs, focusing primarily on the semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscles.
before we do ab workout it's vital to stretch the abdominal muscles the abdomen has four major muscles the external oblique the rectus abdominis the internal oblique and then transversus abdominis do between 8 to 10 reps of abdominal stretches That's all the workout we have for today. Dimanga, thank you so much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure having you. And guys, do check out this video or that video. And until the further next time, it's goodbye, lovies.